Hey everybody, this is Coach Jansen, uh, official shooting trainer for Visionary Basketball, here today to teach you how to shoot a basketball properly. We're here to talk about a proper shooting form. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna build up from feet up, right? Just like a house would be built, anything we gotta start with our foundation. So if we look at our feet, I like to start coming to a line, I like to teach it from here, get your shooting foot, toe right on the line. From here, I want my left foot, I'm a right-handed shooter, so my left foot here, I'm gonna tuck it in, right, in my other shoe, kind of creating a puzzle. From here, I wanna take my left foot and I wanna go shoulder the part. I wanna get underneath my base from here. But from here, I actually want to turn my toes just slightly, a slight turn of the toes, which is actually going to go, then is going to cause my shoulders to turn a little bit to the left, right? I don't want to be perfectly super square to the hoop, right? I want to have my shoulders slightly turned. This is starts with my feet. Now, a big mistake, don't get into this, right? We don't want to be turning way off to the side. So when we go back, we're here, we're tucked in, short the part, slightly turning to the left. From here, right, my knees and my hip are gonna bend at the same time. I wanna bring them down, right? And as I'm bringing down at the same time, my knees should be over toes, my shoulders over knees, right? I wanna be down, straight down. I sometimes see people make this mistake where they bring their knees together, right? We don't wanna get into this habit from here. A lot of times that's from feet too far apart. My back in my position here, right? My knees over toes. As I do that, just to keep myself making sure I'm bending my knees, I'm gonna draw a line from my front toe right across right, to my other toe, and I got about a two, three inches. Okay? Then I know that's the distance I want to be at. From here, knees over toes, shoulders over knees. I want to put my shooting hand now on my right knee. Okay? If I can't reach it, I don't want to be leaning further down, I just need to bend my knees more. So down here, shooting hand on that knee. From here, I want to take my index finger, my opposite hand, right, like I'm drilling through my elbow. Right? From here, I want to go straight up as I rotate from here. It's really important I'm not coming out, but from here, straight up. Now, anatomically, this is my body position. Right? Some people have long arms, sometimes shorter arms. Whatever that may be, that is your distance. My forearm it should be parallel with the ground at this point, and I should actually have my wrist back, and I like to call it wrinkles in the wrist. It right? doesn't matter how old you are, you're going to get wrinkles in the wrist when you bring that back. Right, so from here, right, then I'll have my hand come on the side of the ball. So my shooting hand, fingers pointing to the top of the roof, right? Guide hand, fingers pointing to where the ball is coming from. From here, this is my ready position, and you need to get into this position and know this position any time. So if I'm out of it, bam, I'm into it every single time. Right, so that's the first beginning, the ready phase, that's the foundation. All right, everybody, now that we know our foundation, Right? From here, we can now put the ball in place, but we're going to talk about how we do that. And a lot of times, what I find is a lot of basketball players will grab it, hold it, or, or receive a pass to figure out where they got to hold the ball. But instead, it's important to put the ball about a half a foot in front of you down, right? get into your foundational footwork. For me, we can do a quick little review. Right? From here, together, side, turn, knees, hips down, right? a little bit of arch in the lower back knees down. From here, what I want to do is I want to take my shooting hand and I want to reach down and I want to put pressure down. It's kind of keep my body up. I want my middle finger, right, to get that ridge. Okay, my hand should be right in the middle of the ball, right? What I find a lot of times when people catch it or hold it, right, they're holding here on the side of the ball, right? A little bit of a mistake there. So we want to hold right behind the ball, right? And as I do that, I get my wrinkles in the wrist. The next thing I want to do is I want to take my guide hand which is a very important hand not to use. And what I find is that a lot of kids, a lot of youth players, and even higher, they use their left hand too much in their shot. So as I reach down, keep just bend your knees down, right? I want to get my fingers, right, so that they are facing the ground. From here, some people will say T, some people will say V, right? It's kind of a T formation right here, but the key is that my fingers are pointing to the wall in front of me and that my guide hand fingers are pointing straight down. When I get that pressure in my hand, right, this right here, just holding it in, now from here I want to bring that up, okay? So it's really important that now the ball is over my shooting foot. I'm not inside here, which could develop, right, elbow out, 
right? Chicken wing, I want to be in front here, right? I want to bring that ball right in front here. A little bit of variance, right, is okay, but it's got to be on my right hand side. So now from here, my fingers and my guide hand are, are facing the hoop, and my fingers and my shooting hand are facing the ceiling, all right? This is my ready phase. This is how I want to hold the ball. So now I'm in my ready position. That's my foundation. Ball's in my hand. From here, now I'm ready to now execute this shot. From here, I find that a lot of times, a lot of youth players, right, high school players, they don't spend enough time looking at the hoop, right? They're, they're really caught up in looking at the ground, other areas, other people, other players, right? Keeping your eye at the hoop is really important, right? From here, when I catch that ball, eyes on the hoop, then what I want to do is I really want to make sure I'm initiating with my legs. I'm pushing with my legs and my arms will come up. Now, it's not this into this, right? What I want to do is push together as they kind of come up and it initiates from my knees. The other mistake I see, right, is a lot of times people's knees aren't bent. And so from here, sometimes they'll want to bring down, the ball comes up. And now they're in this position and now their upper body is in phases forward while the lower body is now behind, right? Now they're trying to play catch up and we're going to have a mistake in our shot. So from here, right, I want to initiate my legs, arms come up at the same time. When I get in that first aspect of shooter C, my knees still need to be a little bit bent, right? In that first shooter C spot. From here, right, I want to bring that up on the right side of my body. I keep my left eye always on the hoop, right? Comes over my right eye from here. As I get into that shooter C, right, we're talking about our fingers. Now our guide hand fingers need to be facing the ceiling, where our shooting fingers are in the back wall now. Or a lot of times people don't have that wrist bent right here and that's why they're not getting enough wrist action backspin on that ball because they don't have that wrinkles in the wrist. So now that's that shooter C that I'm in. From here, right, as I am still pushing in motion, right, my knees are going to extend. I'm gonna still going to hold that shooter C. So as I continue, my, my shooter C holds, my legs are now straight. Now there can be a little bit of variance, right, within my shooter C, right, a little bit of degree of variance is okay, but if I'm outside, if my elbow ever gets way outside that ball, now we're going to fall into some troubles here, right? So a little bit of variance right here, right? You might see some people with a little bit of an angle there. That's fine, right? So a little bit of variance, we got that is okay, right? But from here, right? Now my eyes are underneath the hoop, and from here, it's really important that now my elbow initiates going straight up, my guide hand comes off, and now it's just going to mirror and it's going to guide. It's like shooting a baseline shot and you have the backboard to guide that ball. My left hand is that guide that's on the side of the rim now. From here it's off, I'm a one hand shooter now. As I'm in this position right here, I kind of, it's almost like a, a, a trophy with a basketball and sort of a, um, a hand or whatever it may be, right? Holding that ball. A little bit of a gap is really important. That's what we need right here, right? Shouldn't be on the palm of my hand. Reason why is all my nerves in my hand are located in the finger pads, right, index finger. I don't have a lot of nerves in my palm of my hand, not a lot of control there either. So I want the gap in there, right, from here, one hand. Now, my guide hand is gonna fall as my elbow extends. My elbow is gonna give me arc on the shot. So as that elbow goes up, guide hand goes up and mirrors, and then when I snap the wrist, my guide hand's gonna turn and follow that. So to get, to get the ball from me to the hoop is my wrist, arc, Elbow straight up. From here, I'm gonna have a nice tight backspin and I'm gonna shoot that ball in a good motion right there. Make sure we don't get into a habit of bringing our hands down quick, right? Really hold that release, right? And one thing that's nice about holding the release is I can actually assess my shot after I shoot by holding it. I can see where my hand position is. And from here, I can look, where is my guide hand palm? Is it to the side? Are my, are my fingers in the hoop? And is the line of my elbow at my forehead? That's gonna give me, right, this is, this is wrong, elbow, right, higher than the forehead. This is wrong, elbow at my chin, right? I want my line of my elbow, right, at my forehead. All right, so uh, that's just the breakdown. We got our foundation, what we're doing with the ball in our hand, right, initiating with the legs, we got our elbow, wrist, snap, follow through. Hey everybody, that's how you shoot a proper basketball shot. We looked at our foundation, we talked about how we get that ball in our hand and how we hold it properly, and then we looked at execution and how we release that ball. So if you found that video helpful, please hit that subscribe button and give us a good old thumbs up. 
Or if you have some questions, right, and you want to look at something anything further, right, there's a section below with the comments where you can ask us any questions. Hit us up. See you later.